devices. What's up guys, this is Steve and this is probably the first time I've played this in about a month, month and a half. Kind of burnt myself out a little bit, but now I'm back uh, and I am taking my high mighty character that I was using in Morrowind, ESA Morrowind, to uh, Somerset Isles. So, let's have a look. I'm sky watching at the moment, but pretty sure I can. Right on Somerset. Let's begin. Yes. Let the cat fight. The island sprung a leak. Run. First, the queen issues a decree that changes the status of Somerset from an isolated paradise into a tourist attraction. Now monsters, sea creatures, I've never seen anything like them. Well, I say let the cat fight them. Better him than me. Monsters? Cat? Slide down and tell me what happened. Suddenly the ground opened, spewing water and strange creatures. They attacked us. Luckily, one of the newcomers, a Khajiit, leaped in and drove them back. Called himself Razumdar. He could probably use some help if you're so inclined. I'll go talk to Razumdar. My friend, Raz is happy to see you, but surprised you didn't help me with these creatures. Not that Raz needed any help. You must tell me what brought you to Somerset after you agreed to assist Raz with his usual cloak and dagger business. Complications, Raz? That sounds ominous. Ominous? No more than usual, my friend. But there's work for the Queen's Eye, and this one could use an extra blade if you're willing. Queen Irene issued a decree to open the borders of Somerset and allow outsiders to have access to the island. That doesn't sound too terrible. That's what Raz said, but rumors reached the Queen. So this one made the journey and was immediately attacked by strange creatures. Raz doesn't think the two are related, but if you could ask some questions, check on the newcomers, that would help. I'll ask some questions around the city. While you ask questions around the city, Raz can take care of some other business. It may or may not involve scratching and clawing. Let's meet near the entrance to Shimmerin when you have something to report. What were those strange creatures I saw you fighting? Raz never saw such monsters in his life. They appear related to water, but this one tends to avoid this stuff. That pearl, though, Raz swears it was calling those creatures. A mystery for another time, perhaps. Now, we need to see to the newcomers. Anyone in specific you want me to talk to regarding the Queen's Decree? As a matter of fact, Raz made a list. Old Newell, a high elf artisan, spoke out. 
See what she complained about. Then there's Soxolza, a persecuted Argonian newcomer. Finally, Ranuo, a city resident noted in the Divine Prosecution's observation book. What did Oliwell speak out about where and where can I find her? All Newell complained about it. Oliwell. No, no. Raz doesn't want to prejudice your investigation. You will find out when you talk to her. The artists like to gather shells along the eastern coast. She uses them to make paints and dyes. Ranul. That doesn't sound like a high elf name. True. Not enough syllables. Ranul's a red guard whose family has lived in Shimarin for generations. He's a well-respected trader with a few warehouses along the docks. Talk to him before the Divine Prosecution decides to arrest him. What's the Divine Prosecution? The Divine Prosecution serves as lawkeepers and protectors of social standards. Very persnickety. When the rules are broken, they record it in their observation logs. If your name winds up on their list, things get complicated. What does all this have to do with that geyser and those creatures? Nothing at all. Unless you think they came to Somerset because of the Queen's decree. No, that would be ridiculous. Let's not lose focus. Just see what Old Newell, Soxolza, and Ranul have to say about newcomers and the mood in Shimarin. All right. I'll do that. So after I played Morrowind, I did run around Oridon for a little bit. So my cat did meet Raz. Um, other than that, I didn't really do anything else. I didn't level up in any way. Find your own patch of beach. I don't want to. I like this bit. Not that you'd understand the concept, but the path to a lifestyle requires dedication and complete concentration. I must find the perfect shells, or my pigments will be substandard. And do you know what that will do to my art? Exactly. Don't know, don't care. What's the path to Alaxan? An ultimate concept practiced widely here in Somerset. Alaxon is the state of perfection that every high elf strives for. The path to Alaxon represents the approach we take to achieve that state. Now, why have you interrupted my work? I heard you made complaints in Shimmerin. I'd like to hear about that. I believe in caution as much as the next high elf, but sometimes the rules get in the way of common sense. My apprentice lived here for more than a year. Good help is so hard to find, especially among the newcomers, and she was adept at making dyes. What happened to your apprentice? They took her away said they had to scrutinize her qualifications, test her knowledge of culture and etiquette. But I haven't seen her since. My work suffers, so of course I complained to the monks. Now I have to gather my own shells. Did the monks offer any explanation as to where she was or when she'd be returned? They told me I could fill out some forms and appeal to the kin lady. But who has time for such bureaucracy? And for a wood elf? <laughs> I've said too much. I have work to do, and all this aggravation has diverted my path to Alaxon. I'll let you get back to your work then. Perfection requires constant vigilance, so back to it. Yeah, so as I say, my character 
is pretty much I got left them at the end of my Morrow Wind Cave. this mount that I'm using uh, was actually a pre-order reward when I ordered the uh, Sunset expansion and I used it straight away so that right? Probably not. Gmat. Somerset is not the wondrous paradise the heralds proclaimed it to be. Despite the fine words in the Queen's decree, the High Elves want nothing to do with outsiders. They treat the newcomers worse than a mud flea on a bois. As soon as I stepped off the boat, Proofs from the monastery collected me for some sort of cultural assessment to ascertain my understanding of societal rules and regulations. However, no one actually asked me any questions. They locked me in a cell somewhere in the bowels of the monastery, along with other newcomers to the island. Something about a whole affair felt something about the whole affair felt wrong to me. Like warm water in otherwise cool stream, and I'm being killed as I speak. How dare you? to finish what I was reading. Uh, yeah, something about the whole affair felt wrong to me, like warm water in an otherwise cool stream. When I heard one of the monks give thanks to a daedric, with a daedric prayer, I knew I had to get out of there. I used the talents I'd learned from associates who may or may not have belonged to your thieves' guild. I know you disapprove of my friends and slipped out the cell and away from the monastery. In the morning I planned to head to Eleanor. Hopefully I can secure passage back to Merkmere there. Frankly, at this point, any destination would be preferable to here. Sultsla. See what the next person has to say. I know. Can't you see I'm busy? No.
speak. Barah, Caraval. How can a humble merchant help so exalted a personage on this fine and fine day? I was wondering how your name ended up in the Divine Prosecution's observation log. The Divine? Did a Justicier send you to harass me? I've lived in Somerset my whole life, and I did nothing wrong. You high elves. You say we're welcome, and then you treat us like criminals. Is there any wonder I had to speak out? What exactly... What did you say exactly, if you don't mind me asking? After I filled out all the proper forms and arranged to bring my cousin here, the ship arrived and they carted all the newcomers away. For questioning, they said. I complained to the kin lady, but what has it profited me? Nothing! You're not a high elf. Have you lived in Somerset very long? Oh, my family has been here for generations and generations. Before the Queen's decree, outsiders might have been rare, but we were not unheard of. Our business has grown and gets better every day. That's why I sent for my cousin. We need the help. Do you like living in Somerset? Somerset is a rare and beautiful jewel in the Abitian Sea. I love it here. The High Elves treat us like children, but they have never been hostile. The Queen's decree has stirred the waters, though. I fear it will get worse before it gets better. Oh, I'm sure it will do much work. It's over here. Amazing to stand at the heart of Tanzania. You can hear the ancestors whisper. Hey. Ah. Yeah, it's so tempting just to push you in. Can I? Yeah. Come on, in you go. Boring. Right, let's go and speak to Revenda. So, Somerset seems to be very twisty and very tall. Could prove. What do you want? Not to be disturbed by the likes of you. I think that's perfectly a nice question. This is unheard of. Why have you closed the monastery? Good people, I hear your concerns. But the workers I hired, they were aboard the ship from Rivenspire. The kin lady and I, we have only your best interests in mind. Every guest must be sequestered while we ascertain their suitability for Ultima society. The old dark's right! Lock up the newcomers! Send the newcomers back where they came from! We don't want them here! So... Basically then, anyone that's not a High Elf that comes to the Somerset Isles is being locked up as soon as they get off the ship. That's, um... Such anger! Indeed. Raz never expected to hear such words from the Queen's loyal subjects. The sentiment isn't universal, but enough feel this way for Raz to be concerned. Indeed. Did you learn anything interesting from the people I sent you to talk to? The artist's assistant and the Red Guard's cousin have both been sequestered. Sequestered? Hmm. Just a different word for imprisoned, yes. Randall's cousin just arrived, but old Newell's assistant has lived on Somerset since long before the Queen ever issued her decree. What about the lizard? What did Zog Solza have to say? Sok Solza was dead by the time I reached him. 
I found this letter by his pack. <sighs> Why would the Aldar gather up newcomers and non-High Elf residents alike and send them to the monastery? Does the King Lady condone this behavior? Raz's head itches, and not in a good way. Our course is clear, Five Claw. We must go to the monastery. All right. Well, I'll help you investigate the monastery. Raz admires your enthusiasm, but this one needs you to enter the monastery on your own. Yeah, of course. Raz has other fish to catch. This one will help you get past the sentry, though. When you notice that the sentry is distracted, just sleep quietly inside. Goodbye. Okay, and that is where I think I shall leave it for now. Next episode we shall be getting inside a monastery. And until then, I'd like to say thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.